Alright guys, I am super pumped. Right here I've got my Verizon HTC One M8 and we're about to get S off on this thing. Huge thanks to uh, Beanups for this exploit and I'm going to go ahead and show it to you. So first of all, let me just show you what I've got on it right now. It should be S on, so we'll just power it off really quick. Power off. Shouldn't take too long here. Alright, so then to, to check your uh, H-boot mode if you have S off or S on, you just hold your volume down and hold power from the powered off state here and here we go this should tell you so right up here you can see it has S on so that means the security is on okay so I'm just gonna reboot the phone really quick here do a reboot alright now the prerequisites for this thing are you're gonna have to have a couple things so first of all is you need to have root access with weak sauce because that's the root access that is available right now at least at this time to use this exploit so make sure you have weak sauce, weak sauce root access and I have a video on it already so if you don't know how to do that um, definitely uh, check out the video on that I'll put it in the video description down below the next couple things you're gonna want to do is make sure you don't have any kind of password protection on your device on startup so right here I have the slide unlock which is fine but any kind of password stuff you want to turn off for right now and make sure that that is off that's gonna be a prerequisite as well next you want to come in here go into settings and you're gonna to want to make sure you turn off under power right down here fast boot make sure it looks like that it's not checked okay it's pretty important and then next you want to go and turn on developer options so I have developer options right here you go to about phone software information and um, oh more right here and then build number and you tap on it about eight times ten times and you'll turn on developer options which are right there go into developer options turn on developer options and check USB debugging okay so from here you want to install your drivers on your computer um, so I'll give you links to all that stuff you're going to need in the video description, but make sure your drivers are installed. Once they're installed, go ahead and plug in your USB cable. Alright, it's plugged in. And we do have root access right here with SuperSU and Weak Sauce. I'm just going to show you, verify I have root access. There you go, you can see root access is functioning on this device. So, all that being said, let's go over to my computer and let's go ahead and show you what we're going to do on the computer. All right, guys, so here we are on the computer, and um, this is the instructions right here from Firewater SSOF, which is Beanups, uh, and these are the directions for the M8. So we turn on USB debugging. There's some also important notes about using USB 2.0 ports, not using a hub, all that kind of stuff. Here's the password lock. Download Firewater, which you can see I've already downloaded down here in the corner, and... Um, Go ahead and get weak sauce instructions to gain root access. So by Jay Case, which is awesome. That's a cool guy. He's done a lot of development for us. And then we're just going to go into the directions, which are right here. So what you're going to need is you're going to have to make sure you have fast boot and ADB stuff set up already. Um, I'll give you actually probably give you a zip. You can just un unzip and uh, place firewater in. So right now I've got my ADB fast boot folders right here. But all you really need to have is you need to have this file, these two files, and this file. That's you actually probably don't even need Fastboot EXE because you're not using it. But I'll put all these in a zip for you so you have them. And then you just want to copy your uh, Firewater, which mine is right here. Copy the file you download, paste it into the folder that has those in them. Then you want to hit, you want to hold Shift right click and say open command window here and you want to have a window like a so okay and a command window alright so we got our command window everything's here basically this is very simple um, first thing you want to type in is ADB devices and that just proves that your device is communicating over ADB you should have a number and say device 
If it says something different like offline, you may have to go back in your phone and toggle um, developer options on and off and actually there'll be a pop-up saying to give your computer rights to access your device. So just be aware of that. But this is the first thing you gotta make sure you at this point that proves your drivers are working fine. So first thing you wanna do, and it actually says very important, go ahead and copy this and just uh, paste it and hit enter and your device should be rebooting there you go you can see it down here below um, device is rebooting so this is I guess one of the most important steps on this is to let your device go ahead and do a reboot not really sure why but it is so the next thing we want to do is just copy this in right here and paste it in and hit enter and what it's going to do is it's going to wait for ADB as soon as it sees ADB it's going to do that which it did next we're going to type going to going to copy this one ADB shell paste it in okay all right so we have ADB let's make sure root access is granted again here with firewater or with um, weak sauce Sometimes it takes a little while for weak sauce to, to grant root access, so we want to make sure that it's functioning correctly. There it says, there it goes, root is activated. So here is where we want to go ahead and give it this command. So copy. It's very important, I guess, we wait for root to be activated, obviously, because we're using that. So hit enter. And then we want to hit su, su, and get root access. So we should have a pop-up right here asking for root access over ADB at this point. There it is. All right, so let's grant it root access. Okay, so now our run of running the next command should function correctly. So we want to copy it over, copy, and paste, hit enter and there we go okay so here is our warning um, do you understand implications basically this voids your warranty you know all that kind of good stuff read through the warning understand it I'm gonna type in yes so Y E S and hit enter and Firewater hangs for more than two minutes or device enters mode if firewater hangs for more than two. All right, first bottle is open. You can see the device is off right now. Chugging, not sure what this all means. I'm not gonna touch my device because I don't know if it's rebooting or what it's doing. It could be just this, you know, screen's off because it's not doing anything right now. So I'm just gonna wait says chugging like I said I do not know what this means so alright device is now s off don't forget to send us all your money <laughs> so go ahead and donate there um, I think it's done I don't know so let me just see if there's anything going on here okay so the screen was just off it really isn't doing anything here you know I would think that this would uh, shut off the device or something but I'm not really sure. So, uh, device is now soft. It says it basically says it's done. Okay, boom. Here we go. So it came back to a line where it's at. It's got a command. So let's see here, because that should have been the previous. Yes. So it came back to that information. That right there means it's done. That little thing at the end, right, right there. All right. So let's go to our device here. And we're going to go ahead and at this point it should be safe to close your program and unplug the wire. So unplug. And we're going to power off. Shut down. And um, we're going to go ahead and check S off. So screen should be shut off. Go ahead and hold volume down and then power. And shut down. There it is, right there. Let me zoom in so you guys can see it. Right there it is. Device is now S off.
Unlocked S off. Oh man, that is a beautiful, beautiful thing. Now we're going to be able to get custom recoveries. We're going to have some ROM development. This is going to get exciting, guys. I'm super pumped for this. been waiting on this thing to get S off for a long time. So stay tuned. Now that we have S off, we have some root access. We should be able to get root access to even write to system now with S off and all the fun recoveries and all that good stuff. So stay tuned for videos on this thing. I will have a bunch coming. Appreciate you guys watching. Um, there was a little bit of struggle in there because of that waiting 30 seconds for root access. I'll try to clean that up and show you that in the video. Um, that's it. I uh, hope you guys like this video on SF on the HTC One M8. Man, am I pumped. Big uh, shout out, like I said, to Jay Case and Beanups for doing this work. Thank you, thank you guys, and we'll catch you guys next time. Root Junkie out.